Well, we're all hooked up and ready to go. We're about to leave Nashville and next we're headed to Florence, Alabama. We're leaving just at the right time because there's some wind advisories. Heavy winds starting at noon today. But where we're going, it's supposed to be nice and warm. So uh, couldn't pick a better time to be leaving and heading to a next adventure. We're Matt and Dave, and together with our dogs Belle and Hudson, we're exploring the world in our escape travel trailer. In the winter of 2023, we traveled from Ontario to Texas to pick up a 17-foot Casita trailer and spent over a month on the road. We liked it so much that by the fall of 2023, we upgraded to a 19-foot escape trailer so that I had space to work from the road. We haven't looked back since. Come see where we go next. over trailers from windstorms so hopefully that doesn't happen with us anyway so far we're liking the park and it is nice and warm out today although not terribly sunny at the moment here's our trailer set up at this park we were allowed to pick any lot we wanted to so we just drove around and this seemed to be a good one mostly because of the views that we get of the water and the cliffs All right, Dave, so where are we and what are we going to see? Well, we're in Florence, Alabama at the uh, Frank Lloyd Wright House. It's uh, Rosenbaum, it's called. And I've always liked his architecture. 
I went to see one in Chicago, but it was under construction. So this will be the first time I get to go in one of his houses. All right, well, hopefully we can go in. I was just as describing to these folks about uh, Mr. Wright and his uh, declaration that he was a, uh, an architect of the middle class and that these houses were his final attempt to create what he described as affordable housing, but affordable housing with architectural design and input. Mm -hmm. Now, when these houses were, when the concept of the Usonian house was originally devised by Mr. Wright during the Great Depression, it was really something much, much more than what we have here. Wright envisioned large planned communities. And those planned communities were to have been constructed just outside the major cities of the U.S., especially the East Coast, so New York, Philadelphia, Boston, maybe as far west as Chicago, but mostly the East Coast. That's where the population lives. And they would have consisted of five basic house shapes, this being the L shape, along with shopping areas, working areas, recreational areas, schools, post offices, libraries. But where Mr. Wright's vision of planned communities differed from his contemporaries at that time, and even today, was the inclusion of acreage. When most of us think of a large planned community, we think of something with a very small yard. It's part of the charm of a planned community, not having to mow the lawn all the time. But Mr. Wright was a country boy. He was born in the country, he lived most of his life in the country. He thought it was a good idea for everyone to live at least in the near countryside, maybe not way out in the country, but the near countryside. And because it was the Great Depression, and there really was food scarcity during the Great Depression, I thought it might be a good idea if the Usonians, as he called them, had access to land to grow food. So he said you could have anywhere from a quarter of an acre up to five acres where you could have fruits, vegetables, free-range chickens. They didn't call them free-range chickens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Milk cow, maybe, or if one of the kids wanted a pony, this sort of thing. But once Wright convinced mostly himself that uh, that was going to be a difficult idea to sell to the American public at large, you know, most Americans just don't want to live in a plant community of some kind, he pivoted and he went back to doing what he always done best, which was designing highly customized, highly individualized houses for the middle class. He took those five basic shapes, that was, those were the jumping off points of what he created after that time period. And that's where the Rosenbaums interest the story. The almost two acres that this house stands on and the land to construct, and the money to construct it, were a wedding gift to their to its owners, Stanley and Wilbur Rosenbaum, from Stanley's parents. Our view of the back window of the trailer. Pretty much good views all around. So an update from yesterday, the severe winds that we were a little worried about did come overnight, although we're not really super close to any trees. So it didn't really have much of an impact aside from we can just 
feel the trailer all night. We can feel the wind hitting it. There was huge gusts of wind coming through the trailer. But overall, it was okay. But now the problem is there's a severe thunderstorm watch. And you can kind of tell in the background here, there's some really gray clouds coming our way. And I'm actually just starting to feel the rain just as I'm speaking. So, it's coming in pretty quickly. I think we're gonna head inside the trailer. Well, the storm has passed, so we are headed out to check out the town and what it has to offer. But first, we're going to get some coffee and hopefully some pastries at Charlie's Coffee Company. Oh, this is what we needed on a day like today. Yes, it is. Dropping a bomb to people putting up walls I feel like life is on haul Perception stuck in a vault I know that time can heal all But how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside When there's no shelter to hide When everything is a lie You'll find that out in some time But when the things on your mind Are all considered a crime Communication aside We'll all just fight till we die Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces, fixing scars from this Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? I wanna drive away so I can be so far from it
Oh, I see our trailer from here. You actually see it? Yeah. There's Look. our trailer. There's our trailer, far away in the distance. So we we're out on a little hike and uh, found this cave. Kind of neat. Tennessee River behind me. Hudson has joined for the adventure. Anyway, I think this hike has been one of the coolest things we've seen in Florence, Alabama so far. Please consider hitting that like button, or even better, subscribe to our channel. It really does help us reach a wider audience. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see where we go next.